questions. So you can start with the background. Yes, Rupali. So <clears throat> initially I was in IT industry. I was a techie. And uh, during that time something happened and I landed up in meditation practices. So I was in some intense meditation practices and uh, searching for very secluded place. So I went to very small town in Uttarakhand where I constructed my room. From there, uh, uh, this art started. And uh, during meditation practices only, I started with visions, uh, which seems to be realistic and unrealistic. You can say it's kind of illusion as, as well. And for some people, it's kind of reality. So initially, I was lacking technique uh, for the painting. I was getting, getting visions. But uh, it was becoming difficult for me to channelize it because <laughs> I was not uh, uh, formally trained in uh, any sort of school. So I went to Vienna. I was Describe, searching for uh, uh, the visions. What kind of? So there are things which we can't uh, see, but still they are. So initially I was adamant with my visions, but later I uh, studied as well. There are other people also who get uh, these kind of visions. There is a proper term nowadays, visionary art. Uh, it's uh, worldwide it is getting famous. In India, there are very few artists in visionary art because uh, people are hesitant how to reveal things. Uh, but it's easy to paint god goddesses, but uh, to understand your own inner journey and your own believe in your own inner visions, that is a difficult thing. Uh, the first one. This feeling I have made as uh, Anand, infinity. Uh, this represents the uh, infinite, infinite cycle of human nature when we try to complete something in each moment, each life. But uh, there is nothing like completion. And, uh, this is like. Uh, our past lives, in each life we are trying to complete something, but it is like the infinite cycle. We come to this life, again we go back, then we again come, and again we try to complete something, but it's not like we are able to complete something. It's nothing like completion, because it's infinity. I don't know if you have read uh, many lives, many masters, and uh, Life after life, uh, the many yeah, books. Read, yeah. uh, many lives, many masters, and uh, this book, Life After Life, yes. Life After Death. And this at the age of 10, I think. And this was in a collection of my father's uh, library. So I read that book, and I think unconsciously or subconsciously that uh, book has influence on my life. Second. It is named as Inya. Yin yang means uh, uh, balance of uh, masculine and feminine energies. Feminine energy is uh, more into creative side. Uh, masculine is trying to create something more into materialistic thing. But both are important in their own ways and uh, their own style. In a way, it's a kind of balance which we are trying to create in each one of us. And these spaces are like uh, lives, past lives, or you can say uh, faces in this life also. I was in IT industry, now I am an artist. Tomorrow, what I will be, I don't know, because it's a cycle. That's why we say like the feminine is from uh, Venus and uh, masculine from uh, Mars. But I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Some answers are like uh, inside us only, yeah. but they need to come on the surface level. So this one is Omtara. I had uh, a vision about this painting. There is a, there is a deep forest, and uh, there is a mandala as well, Yantra. So historically, Yantras are considered to be. Uh, you can say energy centers also or to activate certain type of energy from the universe. Yeah. So here I have So you can actually uh, see Yantra on your body. It all depends. 
I see in front of my body in my meditation practices. Right. Last one.